make I just connect up this thing here properly with, you know, with live said way. See how the thing I work out, my people. Empress, um, call right on the dot. May I tell you no. So just connect up this thing here so we can um, make it happen. We are going to come back to this Sweden thing because. 400, well, 4,000 people in a Sweden have microchip insert in a them. Zane, 4,000 people. So you must know. I... Rastafari. What a team. <laughs> and I some people like, yes, I... Yes, yeah, Empress yeah, Askele. Yeah. Warm welcome to the Mindset Program, man. Give much thanks and praise the most, I. Aye. We'll make it all possible, you see me? Rastafari. Give thanks every time. Yes, I. I, I, I. Blessed, blessed, blessed. To all the listeners, nice one. You tune into the right station. Selassie so God know. Yes, Empress. We do give thanks, you know, for the I am um, yeah. taking the time. Rastafari. Yes, I. It's your time, you know. We give thanks. Yes, I. We there. We there. Giving thanks. And most I bless every endeavor. Because, you know, we are on a righteous path right now. We have to really stand very firm because the thing get rough. Real rough. You see me? Real, real rough. Real, real rough. Real rough. Yes, I. So, yes, I. So, you know, through the powers of the most, eh? we just want to make sure, say, we can keep the faith because the youth, them, really, them, are look, them never look away again, but we have to make sure so them can look away through yeah. the works so that we are do. So, you see me? We have to give ourselves a chance in that regard, you know? So, let's say I know. And because how it's set is like, yeah, it's, the, the way it's set right now is like, you know, many ones, uh, many are called and few are chosen. We know that. But many ones have lost their way, Rasta. So as a result, you know, it's it's hard to, to try and work them out or help to try and figure them. You see me? True. For this glorious king man where we depend. Yes, I, you know. Rasta so far. right now, we give most, most our thanks. Yes, always, because, you know, you inspire I and I, you know, to keep the education flow, because his majesty say, you know, learning never cease. No, and we have to make sure that we can stay on the page. True, true. You know? Yes, I. So, through the powers of the most, I would just appreciate love every effort to broadcast and show in glory. They are seen. Yes, I. Yeah, man. We do give thanks. We give thanks every time, man. Yes, sir. And 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 by yes, saying sir. that, you know, um, yes, more, more of it, cause I know a lot of people know of the eye, and probably some people who are listening now for the first time don't know of the eye. Zin, um, but just one eye, just just give you a, 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 a little, a little, um, you know, a little thing about the eye, you know. Okay, a little decade run. Yeah, uh, you know what I mean. I was just playing the last 20 years. <laughs> Rastafari, yes, well, you know, I started this journey a good while ago now, about 48 years. I'm on the journey with Alice Lassie. And, you know, I did meet Bob Marley upon the journey you know, in my early days. And in the show, I said I was going to, I was a music publisher in them time there. That was my job. I was working at Virgin, yes, Rastafari. Virgin Records. But music publishing and public relations, that's my speciality. Yes, you see me, I was on the public relations, yes? So, through the powers, you know, Father just put her in the right place at the right time so that I could meet Bob Marley and he said, well, no man, you have to come, come to my publishing in Jamaica. Which I did laugh after him at the time, you see me? But, he know, he know when they know, you know, him they have the eyes, we see, say, so last year I was calling me all the while. You see me? So eventually, that's what I did. I went to Jamaica to work as the public relations and publishing to, to, the, to the most honorable Robert Nesta Marley. Yes, I. So fast forward a few decades later, when well, you know the time was come for I and I to really move forward to Africa. You see me? 
But hold on, so, hold on the you know, in the early 90s. Hold on there. I want to yeah. ask the eye what really, um, you know, attracted, you know, the eye to Rastafari movement at, you know, the time when the eye get involved, you know? Yes, well, you know, I, I was chosen. I feel that father did choose me from when I'm a little girl. You see me? Because I come from a family of 10 children, right? Yes, sir. And my father, my father, my fleshy father is a maroon. He's a maroon, deep maroon man, right? It's only when I go to Ghana, almost years later, me coming to talk some Akan language to him, that we realize, say, well, my father never forget the Akan language when mother teach him. You see me? So anyway, it should mm-hmm. show the eye, I say, right? So we are Seventh-day Adventists growing up. But should I get my father color? That's how I know that I was specifically chosen because everyone else in my family, I'm a brother and sister, they come out brown. <laughs> and I me one come out black. And we come in a time when Jamaica is a very color, color prejudice place. Yeah. You see me, a lot of the works. Yeah, man, a lot of them foundation built on color. That's why right now you see so much of the people them over there bleach. It's because of that same color sickness with them have over there. Yes. See me. Yes, so, sir. yes, I just say that, just to say that, yes, I, growing up, yeah, as I said, you know, so I was forced on a level to really check out my Africanness, my African origins, even without thinking about it, you see me? Because uh, according to all the things said, when my family pushed me all the while, they called me African, all them names they may get enough. People go to church. The people them forget about my name. Them just want to call me Brother Griffith's daughter. Because my father black. I me black like him. You see me? So me had a foundation in, in my Africanness, in my blackness, you know. To give me strength. Because my granny did show me, say, the reason why the people them don't like me is because me carry the wealth of the nation. Yes, sir. See what I'm saying? Yes, sir. The wealth of the nation. So from that position now, you know, then now I come into this environment. I mean, I lie, you know, I come in as an African, you know, in my mind, in my eye, in my heart. And when when I first entered the school system, the girl, the school when we go to, my mother was a Galveyite, you see me. And mother, my mother never wanted me to go to a regular school around here. So she said she wants to send me to go to the girls' grammar school. Yes, so the girls' grammar school now is the first day when we reached there. You know, I just saw me first know myself as a rasta, you know, because here what happened. I walk into the school, man, and all these little white girls, man, and they flock around me. And the girls, them say, Oh, oh, Yvonne, where in Africa do you rule? Yes, Did you hear me? I. Yes, I. That was my first question that I got posed when I walked into the class. So the first time in England, that was the question, where in Africa do you rule? Okay? So you see, when them, when them show me that, it's about weird. <laughs> me know of some places in Africa, now I went straight to the library to study. I'm a stu- I'm a study and choose the ones that remember want to come from, you see me? It was, at the time, it was Kenya, it was, it was Kenya, it was Tanzania, and it was Ghana. There was the three countries where we didn't want to come from. And now we know that I come from all because I'm all African. Rastafari. You see me? Yes, That's sir. the first thing. And the second thing is this, is that Rastafari called me because you know what happened now. You see that first term when we're in a school, I'm now 11 years old, you know. Let me show the eye. My mother now was a Pan-Africanist, but, you know, on a level, she, do, she never talked nothing about Rastafari to her. But you know what happened? When I when I go so and um my mother called out, come 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 look on the black king come look on the black king he was on TV his imperial majesty and when she did that believe me it's like my whole world is like yes my mother actually called me to something that was absolutely fantastic and then the next thing now when we start say oh is he near Rastafari is he near? she said. Yes, this is not the same one where you see in a Jamaica. Uh, 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 um, because you see, the first Rastaman we ever see was the Bobo Shanti Rastaman, you know, where I sell the room uptown. 
Rastafari. As the first Rasta man, remember, similarly, I've no I didn't know that was a Rasta man. I just knew, so I like that, that colorful approach. And, it, and he used to make poems and things like that with him selling. <laughs> <laughs> so, so from that perspective, I know, say, that I like what I like, like what these people talking about. And my brother tell me, oh, it's Africa, them dealing with strictly Africa. You know? So we say, yes, we like that. Next thing, um, Next thing about that is that my um my my time, my journey, yes, as I said, it began from them time there. Yes, and I sir. start looking myself now as a as a youth, as a young daughter. I realize say, yeah, man, we love we love the idea so we have a blacking in Africa, that rural Africa. And then we start to check out Marcus Gavin. We say, Oh, I this same black thing they are talking about. And this is my my particular, you know, uh, journey in terms of the beginning of that, that I can put my finger to. Yet, still, it was many years later when I'm in Jamaica on my way to um, Arita. You know what? I went with, from here to London, to, to Jamaica, when I was 17 and a half, 18 years old. I was working with Virgin them time there, right? Virgin Records. And awesome. Virgin Records collaborated with London Weekend Television to make to make this first program about reggae music. And them asked I to go to Jamaica to coordinate it amongst the musicians and the ones that them out there. And believe me, it was that pain journey on the way forward that I come into myself as a Rastafari because you know, even when I was in Jamaica and went to the, the, the camp, yeah, and Try get my experience in terms, you know, this is in the 70s, right? I'm sure in the ice, I went, to, my first encounter really was on the beach in Bull Bay, where I'd gone there with a the film crew, but they were, they were having a night bingy, and I'm sitting down now, you know, I'm relaxing, and then it's like my, my heart was in my mouth, yeah, because... What was happening was the Naya beating the drums, the one, two. It seemed like it was coming out of my mouth. You know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Coming like it was actually coming out of the mouth itself, you know. Because the way it was beating is like it's my heart beat. But I couldn't interpret it different. I never knew say it was different, separate and apart from my my own heartbeat. You see what I'm saying? Hmm. So when I, I was afraid to open my mouth, Rasta, because I say, if I open my mouth, the drum, this my heart gonna jump out. <laughs> you see me? Because I feel that it was my heartbeat that was making that drum sound, you know, I mean, I like. And I was in the presence of Elder Matriarch, Sister Farika, and Mama Bubbles. Yes. Of the Naya Bingi. And I was on the beach out there in Bulby. Out there in Bulby, I was. And I'm telling the item, say. When I felt the shaking, you know, the drum beat, I just had to move to it, man. And I walked straight into the, into the, um, in, walked straight into the tabernacle or the place where the bingy eyes is was keeping. And I'm telling you, it was, you know, I just went straight and just sit down. And the next thing I knew, I was overwhelmed. You know, overwhelmed by the eyes, man. It was so beautiful. Yeah. So that's why I call like different times, bully for times, all the time. Give thanks. Same yes, call I. Like, you see me? Every time. You never leave me out there, Rasta. So I'm give thanks for the calling uh, and for the duty all the while. But glad to say I'm, I'm one of the chosen few, you know, who love, um, love him and praise him nonstop. We not stop. Because my sister, there's life in that, ever living life. In giving him eyes, is you see me? Ever living life is in that. So from that perspective, I will always, always, you know, be on the action part of him because that is the place to be. You know, he opens the doors. Yes, sir. You know, he you opens know, the doors, and he show I and I every time. As, as, yes, sir. As the I said that, you know, the the eyes um the eyes the founder of um. The Empress Men in Foundation. What 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 motivate the I feel that's um, right really set up that foundation? Well, that was a direct vision, you know. Direct vision from his Imperial Majesty, I mean, I lied directly. 
you see me? Because really and truly, the majesty come to I and show I stay. Make me empress visible. Yes. yes. Make me invisible. And the only way that I could manifest that was directly by doing the works they showed me, which was showing the showing the ones of the elders. You know, showing the ones that we have to care for the elders in the time that we have with them because the time is going fast. You see me? And we don't, we don't, we don't, it don't look like at the time when him give, him give her that vision, you know, and sure, the elders, the line was non-stop. I mean, to say, the line was infinitesimal, my bridging. You see me? The line of Rastafari elders. And, you know, I am, I am eternally grateful to him for giving her that. I always loved the ancient stem. That is my part, you know, from my time coming in. You see me? I go with my granny. And, you know, she's an ancient maroon woman. And I saw, I, I love ancient. So I, I never feel no way when, when Father showed me the ancients, them lined up in front of her. That's it. Yes, Rastafari. Rastafari gives time. Yes, yes sir. So, um, you know, Father showed the ancients, them lined up in front of her. And, oh, yes, sir. Um, yeah, show the ancient them lined up in front of her. And I and I, you know, I return and grateful to the most high for them, them inspiration there to move forward. You see me because right now, um, yes, beloved. Yes, yes so sorry. the Empress Money Foundation is about education, educating the community to empower the nation. You see me, the nation of Rastafari mm -hmm. empowerment is a big thing, you see me. So right now we have to really give thanks to the most high. That we, you know, because educating the community, we have to educate even I and I people, you know, into the love, you know, and into the faith, you know, to keep the faith because most people, most ones are losing them faith fast, fast. Mm. You see me? And we can't really afford to be in that position at the time when we need to be strengthening up, so not stepping that, back forward. You see me? Yes, sir. So, so year, right yeah. now, um, yes, I we just you know we just grateful and thankful. So the Empress Men and Foundation, we deal with education, we deal with connecting young people with the elderly, you know, because I and I we, we seem to be busy in our age, and quite frankly, we, there's a lot of things lacking because as young people, young parents in in the faith, we don't bring we don't make sure so we youth them get connected with the elders, you know, and this is a very important thing to do. Because this act will actually benefit and, and see, you know, bring the nation into a level of education and wise mind. True. So that's why it's so essential to connect young people with the elderly. The elders. It's true, true. To me. And I did a study and yes, I, you know, when I when I really come through now, coming through and working and traveling to spread the word, you know, and making sure that young people are aware that, yeah connect with the elderly. And, it's, you know, it's working, as you say. It's a real thing. So all the Winston Churchill Memorial Trust over here in England give me an award, you know, for my project, you know. Rastafari. Yeah, because I, I had to go. What happened was when I, once I put that project forward and showed them, say, yeah, this is how we're going to save society now. We're going to connect the young people with the elderly. That way, they get wise. That way, they know how to move. You see me? True, true. Yeah, it's a serious thing. So the next thing I know, the, 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 um, the Winston Churchill, the thing just come, you know, Father doing mystic already. Mystic, mystic, man, I'm not lie. Because we, come, we just come from Jamaica from our journey. You know, because the project was very big in Jamaica. Because I went to the 14 parishes of Jamaica and had a register of over 380 Rastafari elders. Yeah? Pause. Who I then, who I then know introduce, come and introduce to the ones there, you know, to the nation people. And, they, 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 you know, these elders now I call it a doctor elder, a doctor elder Rastafari. But, you know, you see, no one's never even ever stand what that mean. Mm. And no one's jeer me and say, well, if you adopt them and bring them coming to my yard, we have no way good for living in England right now. You come tell me if you adopt an elder. Yeah, but you see, you see what happened? We lose our sense of, of who we are, Rasta, because 
if you have any idea, you would see say, the Rastafari elders is you know earthly ones who represent your mother and father who is the Maui highly celestial. Rastafari. You see what I'm saying? They must be the ones that represent your parents in this time. I and I as Rastafari children. They must be the ones. You see me? Because with mother and father, not, not on the same journey and path, we know that don't mean we don't love them. It just means that them don't ever stand them not on the same journey and path as I and I. True, true. That is you the see reality. Me? For them say, yeah. Yes, I. Yeah, so that's why we get the rest of our end. We're so blessed to get them, and we don't even know. So we don't know to utilize that that incredible, incredible connection. But we give thanks still, you know. We're we're the we're the, we're the, um the Our foundation is based. And shield. Where the foundation is based? Is it based in 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 Ethiopia? Yeah. Well, now we now we're setting up in Ethiopia. We start a new. It's called the I Take a Menin organization in Ethiopia. That's what we're running with. Yeah. And in Ethiopia, um. Yeah, man, because we have the patriots them. You know, just like we did in Jamaica, we, we went to the, the parishes and going all over Ethiopia. But, Father, give me the ancient Ethiopian Patriotic Association. You see me? And within that organization, I'm a member of that organization. And within that organization, I tell you, I've met Rastafari elders who are 100 year old and don't ramp, you know. They have deep and abiding love for His Imperial Majesty. Rastafari. Yes, that's I. how we come, yes, I. That's how we come, we call them Rastafari elders of Ethiopia. So now we're lining them up so that we can now connect the young people with them. Yes, I. So a one can, a one can adopt an elder in Ethiopia. Straight. Straight. That is working, man. And, and it's very much, the president is very much up to it. I met the president of Ethiopia recently, you know, you know first president woman. Yeah, man, she loved the idea. And, you know, I've been there, all, ever since I've been there, I've been working at it, you see me? So that the ones them know me, the ancients them know me, them carers know me, the organization who deal with, 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 with ancientcy and elders know I. So, you know, we're building, we're building a thing, man. But guess what? Is one thing we know, you know, all Rastafari will sit down over here them, them, and over there in you know, the West when they need to come home, you know, because the patriots, them have things. They want to see we so they can give it things, people. Listen to me, they have things. They want to give it things. But they know us as Rastafari elders the same way. But we, we, we need to step up, you see me? True, true. We really do. It's the last thing I know. Yes, sir. Lots of potential for the eye if the eye is a Rastafari, if the eye want to adopt a Rastafari elder in Ethiopia. The potential is incredible, okay? It's a big, big potential thing. So, yes, sir, you know, the works have to go on. And we now stop. We now stop the works. Yes, sir. So, okay. you know, one. No, sir. One... We now stop, man, because, you know, I look. Yeah, ones who want to get in touch. Don't waste stop it. All them can get in touch with yes. the IFM. Well, you can write. To me. I've got two email. Yeah, man, you can email me, man. Me, me, me email. Let me tell you two email address, right? The first one is educating my family. Educating my family at gmail.com. You got that? Yes, I. It's like a sentence, isn't it? Educating my family at gmail.com. Right? That's one. And the other one is EMF Ethiopia at gmail.com. Like Empress Menin Foundation, but EMF Ethiopia at gmail.com. Rastafari. Otherwise, I'm on I'm on Scali Celestia on Facebook. So and you can that... catch us live on YouTube later, right? <laughs> Rastafari. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. Yeah, man. We so do yes, give beloved. We give thanks. Um, we give thanks. Um, the eyes are so. The eyes are so a member from the 
EWF. Right? Yeah, man, we have all time foundation member of the EWF. Hear yeah, me now. We have all time foundation member, you know. And I think what's going on is that ones and ones in nowadays, EWF, all them can tell you is about constitution, constitution. Them just are overbeat up the word constitution. But they now live by the constitution. The most ones not even abiding by the constitution. Not even upon the land grant. Them now have no, no authority. Because them, them know that adhering to the constitution the right way. You see me? We don't know what level them they're planning about right now. I'm very disappointed that the ones them not taking up the banner as them should. Yes, I. Especially upon the land grant. Yeah, it's a serious thing. But you know, ones and ones, we know, we know you know the clicky clicky thing, and that seems to be the prop, seems to be the works. You know, I mean, ones just depend um you know, being with them friend and it's good to be in a group together and all of that. Yes. All of that is all good, yes, but that's not what it is to be a member of the EWF, you see me? <laughs> that's not what it means to I, yeah? It, it works, man, works, works of faith, you see me? The ones that have to deal with that on a serious level, works of faith is a must. So, you know, we are in a prime position. We are we're supposed to have authority because we're upon the land, the land that was given to the black people from the West. And yet still, you see me, you know what I know what it is? I know something, you see. You see this the divine connection, the divine connection with the most high. The most ones, them feel to have it in this time, Rasta, you see me. Them feel to have that going on in, in this time. So as a result, them, you know, things get like they're working in luck all the while. So I'm saying, yes, I'm working sir. in an opposite direction thing. As much as man try, you know, as much as them try, they're not really are, are making the inroads because the divine aspect of them life is missing. You know, through lack of faith, I would imagine. I don't, you know, I don't even know it's what. But some reason, for some reason, they not seem to have the authority they're supposed to have. You understand? Mm -hmm. Most of have the confidence in the, in the high majesty and lowest thing. The majesty will work the team because you're doing the right thing. Yes, I. Without fear, So man. I'm saying. Yeah, because year in, year old people put all them calendar in a Rasta. Where the money coming from? Me not have to ask, not me no say me have to go do the work, prepare the thing, and Father will provide. Because this I must say. Emperor Haile Selassie never gave none of us any work without giving us the tools to do it. You see the tools to do it? Him give you those things as well, you know. Yes, sir. A true thing, man. Yes, him give you those things as well. Yeah. A true yes. Thing. So we just have to just pay attention. You see me, Rasta? I we have thanks. to pay attention, you know? Because it's all happening wrong with the thing them dead man do it, did it? But you know, the frustration they did as well. So you might just see the frustration and not the glory. See what I'm saying? Yes, I. Yes, so, my brethren yeah, and man. listeners, yes, indeed. Worldwide, yes. Blessing up every, each and every one, same way. Because we're going to catch up later. Yes, I. By video, yes, my brethren. Is it for another media coming up shortly? All right. Yes, Empress, so I give thanks to the continue. moment. <laughs> yeah, man, give thanks to the moment. For the moment, moment to you know? everything is blessed. Give much thanks. It's an honorable duty. I saw it there soon, see? Yes, I, Rastafari. Most, most strength. Rastafari, and... all this, all blessed. Yeah, man, skillful guidance. And give I'm... much thanks. Blessed. Blessed. Skillful guidance with Isis. Rastafari. Yes, mindset program. May I tell you, we do give thanks. We give thanks. Um, yeah, you know, we just make the empress freely. You know, say what she have to say, without much interruption. Still, you know what I mean? Yeah, without much interruption, we just make sure flow and and go through. And it is a great honor for you know of the empress um from the program, yeah. But um. Look out in the future. You might um the item you know might um have her upon um the mindset series, you know. 
So look out for part two. Zane, uh, 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 this reasoning, yeah. And I can tell you, part two is going to be more 